Innovating Better Beaches by Elliot Post. Although beaches have survived many centuries dating all the way back to the 1800s, shorelines went from being a source of food and where journeys began and ended to a site of amusement and recreation. The beach was popularized as a non-place. It was denatured even though it was reconstructed as the purest expression of nature. Coastal populations have increased by 30% in the last 30 years, and the figures are expected to soar within the next decade. Beachside properties are among the most valuable in the world, and while coasts have become the most desirable places to live, they are also highly vulnerable habitats. Every year, governments around the world spend billions trying to fix their coasts to make them conform to the lines they have drawn in the sand. The imperialized state of the world's beaches is not only an ecological problem, but also a cultural one. The beach needs to be reincorporated into nature as a natural phenomenon. The old but still present problem here in St. Petersburg, the beach is one of our most abundant resources that has given many people reason to move to this beautiful sunshine state. Not only is this resource utilized throughout Florida, but rather around the world as sandy beaches make up roughly 31% of the planet's coastlines, with nearly 2.4 billion, or 40% of the population living within the sandy limits. Just in the state of Florida, there is a vast 825 miles of sandy coastlines that have sadly become one of the most abused and maltreated natural resources of our time. With more and more influx of coastline construction, overpopulated beaches, Floridians, along with many other beach communities, are prone to losing this resource forever if we do not take action now. The new problems for our beaches only become greater with time, and the steady rise in natural disasters taking place on our planet. This may be due to environmental instabilities and human contamination, but more importantly, what I'm talking about is beach erosion and accretion. Sandy beaches experience phases of erosion and accretion over a range of time intervals. In the short term, beaches experience erosion from season where storms are more frequent. This is especially so during an extreme weather event, such as a hurricane or tropical storm. The accretion of sand is a lot slower process than erosion. This tends to happen in seasons where weather conditions are calmer. Over long time frames, rising sea levels lead to phases of erosion, whereas falling sea levels are associated with long-term phases of accretion. Human activity, such as mining, dredging sand for canal developments, or the development of marinas, affects erosion drastically. The damming of rivers also reduces the volume of sediment reaching the coast. All these activities interfere with natural processes such as longshore drift, where beaches are deprived of its natural replenishing sand. Stemming from the U.S. Climate Resilience Toolkit, as global sea level rises, the action of waves at higher elevation increases the likelihood for extensive coastal erosion. 
Already, coastal erosion costs roughly $500 million per year for coastal property loss, including damage to structures and loss of land. To mitigate coastal erosion, the federal government spends an average of $150 million every year on beach nourishment and other shoreline erosion control measures. In addition to beach erosion, more than 80,000 acres of coastal wetlands are lost annually. This is equivalent to seven football fields disappearing every hour of every day. The aggregated result is that the United States lost an area of wetlands larger than the state of Rhode Island between 1998 and 2009. Through tools known as innovation concepts, combating beach erosion and overcrowding has stemmed new ideas, or rather preventative measures, to the detrimental issues. Many studies demonstrate that in some cases the beach overcrowding is the primary cause of coastal erosion. Already from the 2018 IEEE International Conference of Internet of Things, preliminary measures are being made for the coastal erosion that has already taken place. But what is to stop, or rather, combat the everyday natural causes that take a toll on our beloved beaches? IoT technology has started to become versatile and has opened up a vast amount of resources that can be used to help battle these effects with significantly less amount of capital. How might we is also another option where it's utilized brainstorming techniques. I was able to come up with some similar resolutions to the market as well as ones that slightly vary in application. How might we improve our beaches with smarter technology is the question. There are many things in our world to date that have orchestrated a change for the better. And as many people know, beach erosion still exists with no sight of resolution to this issue. That is why I feel confident that my product and service is not only a brilliant new venture concept with optimal scalability, but even more than that, a means to salvage what is left of our heavily utilized coastlines and ultimately help improve our planet. Through open innovation, this will be a system of interrelated computing devices, mechanical and digital machines, objects, animals, or people that are provided with unique identifiers. This can greatly improve efficiency as well as increase monetization of what was once a stable natural habitat. Through open innovation, we would be able to combine key elements with one another to heighten the advancements and time intervals of this project. The solution is simple. Here to present the Better Your Beach restoration program with the goal being to combine IoT interface with existing data to properly regulate beach erosion on each and every overpopulated or heavily worn shoreline. This system will orchestrate innovative concepts that utilize an abundance of resources in order to ensure beaches are maintained to the proper erosion levels as frequently as possible. With a means of replenishment, this system will be able to apply and remove vast amounts of already eroded materials from the ocean floor and disperse these materials to the very beaches from which they swept from. Through combining this concept with already existing IoT systems, we find that Better Your Beach can exceed many expectations to keep our beaches alive and able to be enjoyed for long times to come.
For better your beats to work properly, I have configured a 6 month to 18 month implementation phase. Starting in January of 2020, we plan on gathering beach environmental research from companies such as NOAA, NASA, USGS, and the Natural Resource Departments. In February of 2020, we plan on contacting employers to also gather employee data through surveying communities. In April of 2020, we plan on securing funding from investors and venture capitalists, as well as partners for in-house research and prototype production. In May of 2020, prototype production starts. In August of 2020, we plan on launching beta for the corporate partners that we have worked with. In September of 2020, we analyze the user data and use it to fix bugs and other malfunctions. Finally, in November of 2020, we plan on launching a marketing campaign. When working through areas to explore, stopping beach erosion has become the key of success in this constant battle. And through the IoT concepts of combining a system of interrelated computer devices, mechanical and digital machines, objects, animals, or people that are provided with unique identifiers and the ability to transfer data over a network without requiring human-to-human -human or human-to-computer interaction. That is why Better Your Beach will elevate the awareness of beach erosion and will also play a significant role in educating people on the matter in turn. Through gathering innovative data from companies such as the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the National Aerospace and Space Administration, the United States Geological Survey, and the Departments of Natural Resources from each state and country, Better Your Beach will be able to make an impactful impression on the Internet of Things database.